Extended Producers Responsibility EPR, is a government strategy which places the burden of responsibility for the treatment and disposal of plastic waste on the importer of imported plastics in India. Hello and welcome to MindSing, your compliance guard. I am Swati from MindSing. On the 16th of February 2022, Ministry of Environment, Forest, and climate change notified in its fourth amendment to the plastic waste management rules the guidelines on extended producer responsibility for plastic packaging which outlines that importers shall have to comply with the epr guidelines given in schedule 2. this video from mindsing provides a brief overview of the complete epr registration by an importer of plastic packaging India's environmental and forestry policies and programs are planned and implemented under the direction of the Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. The Central Pollution Control Board, CPCB, is a legal organization established under the Water, Prevention, and Control of Pollution Act, 1974. Prevention Control and abatement of water and air pollution, improving the quality of water and air in the country, is the primary function of CPCB. State government constituted the State Pollution Control Board and is entrusted for control of pollution of the concerned state. Pollution Control Committee functions as to improve air quality, promote water body cleanliness, and prevent pollution. The Ministry of Environment notified the Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016 on the 18th of March 2016. The Ministry also notified the Solid Waste Management Rules 2016 on the 8th of April 2016. As plastic waste is part of solid waste, therefore, both the rules apply for managing plastic waste in the country. Extended Producer Responsibility, covered under the Plastic Waste Management Rules, 2016 requires businesses to take responsibility for the entire life cycle of their products, from design to disposal, promoting a more environmental responsible approach to plastic waste management. All importers who use plastic as packaging are responsible for collecting and scientifically disposing of the generated plastic waste. EPR is based on the principle of polluter pays. EPR guidelines covers reuse, recycling, use of recycled plastic content, end-of-life disposal, with respect to plastic packaging. The EPR policy based on plastic waste would shift a part of burden of waste management and its sustainable end-of-life disposal from municipalities and taxpayers to importers who will be held accountable for the responsible management of plastic packaging and or end-of-life products. As provided in Rule 3, F, and obligations mentioned in Rule 6 of Schedule 2 of the Plastic Waste Management Amendment Rules 2022, Importer means a person who imports plastic packaging products, or products with plastic packaging, or carry bags, or multi-layered packaging, or plastic sheets or like, is under an obligation to get registered, on the centralized portal, developed by Central Pollution Control Board, and without which the importers are debarred from carrying out any business. Importers of goods which are not plastic packaging, but are coming wrapped, or packed packaging such as machinery, textile etc., are required to take EPR registration, and to upload the EPR registration, on Indian Customs Portal, at the time of the bills of entry, to avoid any queries from custom authorities. The following plastic packaging categories are covered under EPR. Category 1 covers solid or rigid plastic packaging. High density polyethylene, HDPA, and polypropylene, PP, 
are both components of rigid structured plastic. These HDPE and PP materials are used to create a wide range of plastic packaging products all over the world. These solid plastics are used to manufacture plastic packaging sheets and various household package products like shampoo bottles, plastic boxes, etc. Under Category 2 comes all the flexible or stretchable plastic packaging of single layer or multi layer, that is, more than one layer with different types of plastic. Polyvinyl chloride, also known as PVC, is a thermoplastic and the third most produced plastic in the world. It is used for making covering sheets for food products, bottles, etc. Category 3 is for all multi-layered plastic packaging, in which at least one layer of plastic, and at least one layer of material other than plastic is used. Different layers of low-density plastics, and metals are used for making this multi-layered plastic. Multi-layered plastic is mostly used for food packaging, for storing food, beverages, and other products. Category 4 covers plastic sheet, or like used for packaging, as well as carry bags made of compostable plastics, or polythene carry bags. Compostable plastics come from renewable materials and break down through composting. Low-density polyethylene LDPE is a stretchable and flexible type of plastic. It is used for making plastic sheets, plastic packaging films, plastic wraps, dispensary bottles, containers, and many more. As per the EPR guidelines, Importa have to register through the online centralized portal developed by the CPCB. If the importer operates in one, or two states, they need to register with concerned state pollution control boards. If the importer operates in more than two states, the importer will register with the Central Pollution Control Board. To obtain EPR authorization for plastic waste management in India, the importer need to follow these steps. Importer must register with the CPCB or SPCB by filing out requisite form. Importer must submit for each state the EPR action plan to fulfill the statewide EPR target containing the strategies. Along with the application, importer also have to submit the mandatory documents such as business registration certificate, a detailed project report, and proof of financial capability. Once the application is submitted to the authority, it is scrutinized and reviewed. If any default is found, the CPCB or SBCP will raise queries or reject the application. After submitting the application, if everything is found to be in compliance with the regulations, EPR authorization will be granted. Extended producer responsibility target is the year-wise target for minimum level of recycling of plastic waste across different categories of plastic packaging, including compostable packaging. The EPR target in metric tons, category-wise, as applicable, shall be provided by all importer, as part of action plan on the centralized portal, developed by Central Pollution Control Board. The importer shall calculate EPR targets, for current financial year, which can be calculated as per the given methodologies. Eligible quantity shall be the average weight of all plastic packaging material and or plastic packaging of imported products, category-wise, imported and sold in the last two financial years plus average quantity of pre-consumer plastic packaging in the last two financial years minus the annual quantity supplied to brand owners in the previous financial year. The details of application fees for EPR registration to be paid by the importer are If the plastic waste generation is less than 1000 tons per annum, the proposed processing fees is Rs 10,000. Plastic waste generation if ranges from 1000 to 10,000 tons per annum, the fee is Rs 20,000, 
and if plastic waste generation is more than 10,000 tons per annum, the application fee charged will be rupees 50,000. The importer shall also pay annual fee for processing of returns which will be 25% of application fees. The importer can reapply along with late fee and the penalty charged will depend on the number of days after application was not approved. To manage plastic waste, every importer of plastic packaging must first obtain EPR authorization from the appropriate authority. To get EPR registration for your business, get in touch with MindSync. Stay tuned in our EPR series for our upcoming video on brand owner of plastic waste. Thank you.